In other interesting news for people wanting to learn Blender, there is a brand new weapon training using Blender, Marmal Set Toolbag, and Substance Painter for baking and portfolio ready renders. This will be great for you if you want to start creating cool looking firearms or video games. This training comes from a very qualified professional when it comes to weapons. It provides knowledge on how to create a customizable revolver for a first person shooter video game. It also has two mountable attachment pieces for this weapon. The first one is a flashlight and the second one is a reflex scope. And they are the same as you would find in almost any FPS video game. The weapon is built fully detachable, where you can even take the rail off. The training starts in Blender while relying on proven modeling techniques modifiers and free add-ons besides careful studying of reference images. In the first chapter, you will take your time for modeling and once you jump to the high poly section, you're gonna make use of Blender's remesher capabilities, which is an amazing way to create high poly models in a modifier and non-destructive environment to generate the best possible results. After finishing the modeling phase, Tim will focus on UV unwrapping the models in order to have the perfect UV layout for baking and texture painting. For that, he will show you how to make use of excellent free add-ons to max out your texture space. The end of this chapter is about preparing the models to be exported over to Marmoset Toolbag for the best baking results by making sure of using the right naming convention and that the smoothing groups are set up together with the materials assigned. The second chapter focuses on texturing in Substance Painter. Here the models are exported to Marmoset Toolbag and this part will get you to learn how to bake your base maps, such as normal maps, curvature, ambient act illusion, position, in addition to thickness map. While working on that, Tim will teach you how to conventionally paint out any skewing you have on some parts of the texture, and how to import your maps over to Substance Painter, while you will create two different texture versions, a chrome version and a metallic one. In addition to how to work with alpha textures, making use of various materials, smart materials, and how to use procedural masks and generators to form up the wear and tear to realize much more realistic appearance. And the third and last chapter is about final renders in Marmosat Toolbag. Here is where you put your last touch to create a portfolio ready render. In addition to turnable animations and arrange a scene in Blender, then take it back to Marmosat for scene composition renders. If you are interested, I highly recommend this course, you can find the necessary links in the description.